and that the first one is that you know the first song we saw was, sang was you know our God is greater and it speaks to this great God. And Esther read Psalms 47 talks about God is the King of the earth. You know He is highly exalted. And I was just thinking about that that reality that over these last five years dude, that's so sad. that in these last five years if you've been around. So there's a few, Sam's been kind of around, he's gone for two years, but he was around for the first year. I think you've been around for five years, and Esther and Nick's been around for five years. But if you've been around for five years, what you've experienced is this. Some very, very exciting events, very, very exciting times in ministry, very, very exciting uh, Wednesday night, I mean, excitement in terms of just like energy and numbers, and there's like 30, 40 kids coming out, we're doing these events, and it's exciting. And, and during those times, I think it's, People are like are, tend to worship a little harder. They're like, man, God is so great. He's awesome. He's awesome, you know. But then there's been in those five years some like some really low-key months. You know, like five or six of us just kind of staring at each other. Like we we all lay hands on the man for like a year straight. That's probably why she's grown. But here's here's my point, guys. It doesn't matter what season it was, God was always great. Okay? It doesn't matter, and this is just in general, it doesn't matter what's going on in your circumstances, God's greatness is consistent. He was, he was never smaller in five years. He was always great. And that just blows my mind. That in all those five years, I had reason to just, God, you're so great. And for the next 80 years, if God takes me to 80, I'll be, I'll be 108 years old. <laughs> right? If God gives me another that amount of time, I, I know in my heart that I, at any season of my life, I, I should be able to raise my hands and say, God, you're great. Mm -hmm. He's great. He doesn't change. Just like I'm never going to stop being Salvadorian. God will never stop being great because that's who He is. Woo! Salvation. <laughs> right? we, we, we speak of His love. We speak of His love. Right? God's love for us doesn't change regardless of how much we love Him back. It doesn't matter how close you've been to God or how far you've been from God. His love for you and I has remained consistent. Can you, can you guys wrap your mind around that? Around a being who always loves you passionately, intensely, all the time. That it doesn't matter what your choice is. It doesn't matter how you feel about it. You can curse God. You, you could, for the last year, have not even prayed to God, have, haven't even opened your Bible, haven't even come to church. God's love for you is the same in that season of your life, as when you are sacrificing for him, you're coming to church, you're being obedient, his love doesn't change. That's amazing. Right? Because God is love. That's, that's his attribute. Just like I'm a man, and I can't change that, God's attribute of love can't be changed. He, that's what he is. 